Hey, what's up, everybody? Good morning. It's Adam from Adam, and I'm ready to give you your zodiac element forecast, probabilities, motivation for the week. This week, we're talking about surrender and gratitude. We're always talking about surrender, but this week, I want to emphasize the power of gratitude because I've been watching it and witnessing it change and shift things in my life. So, this week readings, I really want to emphasize to you the power of gratitude. So, you know the routine, swipe to the right, swipe to the left. If you be, if you are in, be encouraged and inspired by my weekly forecast, feel free to give me a cash app support. I'll take your love offering at, you can cash app me, Adam from Adam. The link is in the bio and in this post. All right, so let's get started, y'all. Happy Tuesday, swipe to the right, swipe to the left, get your forecast. All right, Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. This week, y'all got to go into surrender and gratitude for that nasty part of your personality that you've been, you don't want people to see. It is coming up to be surfaced and you got to deal with it. I'm talking about the shadow side. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Get ready to face it, confront it, and release it. Do not support it, but don't suppress it. Now, that sounds crazy, but here is a balance. You want to become aware of it when it comes up, become grateful for it and surrender to it. That primitive anger, that primitive lust, those gratification desires or, or that ego vindication vanity. Whatever that those shadow qualities are that's going to be brought up this week, don't give in to them, but don't suppress them. Face them, look at them, heal them and release them with a sense of gratitude and surrender. This is going to be a challenging week for you all because if you give in to the shadow self, it's going to take you down. And if you try to suppress it, it's still going to come around. So you got to have a fine line of balance of awareness and surrender to the ugly part of yourself. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Y'all better get firmly planted in some reality this week. Firmly planted in some reality and get still. Now, y'all, when I say get still and firmly planted in reality, what it is is y'all are ready to go into the fall and say, ready, I'm about to kill these next three months. I'm about to do this. I'm about to do this. I want to make this happen. No, get still, get planted and get grounded and land yourself. Get planted and get still with a firm foundation of gratitude and surrender in yourself without trying to make a whole lot of stuff happen. It's gonna get you frustrated, it's gonna get you out of your joy, and it's gonna get you anger. Get still and stay calm in a sense of surrendering gratitude for whatever it is you wanna create and be patient with yourself. This isn't so much a week or a season for y'all to begin to start initiating, trying to make a whole bunch of stuff happen. Get still and be just planted and grant, be planted and grounded and surrendering gratitude for just what you want inside yourself without trying to take action. Be still and be patient, earth signs. Okay, my air friends, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, don't let nothing this week interrupt the grieving process. The grieving process, yes, we are being asked to grieve, to mourn, to let some things go. So we're going to be triggered through circumstances, situations that's going to make us feel sad, a little lowly, a little reminiscent, a little nostalgic, or just a little longing for something from the past or something that we've lost. Be okay with it. Don't try to interrupt it. Don't try to prematurely interrupt your grieving process. When the grieve kiddings come, my friend S is calling them grieve kiddings, and they, de they determine your attention. They want some attention from you. Give them your undivided attention so you can finish grieving some things from the summer that happened that you that may have been interrupted. This is going to be a good week for you to finish grieving. The weather is going to help you. Um, just the, the mood, the climate will help you be in a state of grief. And that grief will lead to so much joy if you finish grieving. Finish the grieving process. Finish being sad. All right, my water friends. Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. This is going to be such a beautiful week for you all. You all have paid your dues. Last week, y'all got the ball rolling. And y'all are just excited about moving forward in the future. There's some good opportunities for you all to capitalize on when it comes to establishing your sense of security in your material world this is a great week for you all to take some action this is a great week for you all to explore some new things set some focus so some focus and tension on what do you want to expand in your material horizon your material world do you want to go get some new furniture some new clothes do you want to go open up a new bank account do you want to make some investments do you want to change something in your wardrobe get your fall go get your fall wardrobe this week this is a great week for you all to expand yourselves in your material, physical, and comfort, your comfortable environment. It's, and when you do that, if you act on that and you trust that you have permission to do that from God, you are going to experience so much more gratitude and you're going to bring even more joy to your life.